very excited to share with you today how at IndieBio's Demo Day. Startups take to the stage to not only prove their science works, but also that they're a business worth investing in. It's creating a movement for young scientists to sort of be able to control the destiny of their science and take it with them. And yes, make a lot of money, possibly, but it's more about not handing off your science to other people. The startup BioLumen changes everything we've come to think about diet pills by creating one that shields the body from carbohydrates. My co-founder came with the idea, it's like, what if like, I could still eat the food and then like, rub those calories and remove them? Because not only it rubs the sugar and starches, but then it ends up feeding them to the gut microbiome. So really like turning the food that like you're craving with the sugars into like what your body needs. Well, we know food products like these have all kinds of chemical colorings, but how about this veggie breakfast? Well, if I turn it over, I find red three, yellow six. Those petroleum-based colorings have been linked to a host of health problems. The startup Microma is solving that by harnessing the power of fungi. What we do is to grow them in bioreactors. So we, we gave them the, all the food they need, all the nutrients they need to, to grow and to produce the color. You can use them to, to cook. You can use them in perfumes, in creams. A big thing with many indie bio startups is staying all natural. And for the team from Primitive's Biodesign, that even includes plastic film, which they've created from plant based materials. When used as compostable packaging, it can even tell consumers about the product they're receiving. We developed materials that can change color, shape, or smell in response to changes in the environment. So we'll be launching applications and things like films that can sense. Temperature change that could monitor cold pain and could, could look at if your medication has been exposed. Like for example, insulin, if insulin has been exposed to high temperatures and is no longer safe to use. This is our blood, but it's the unprocessed blood. After we do our purification process, this is what we end up with. The startup MemBio is tackling the massive demand for blood for patients with disorders like sickle cell anemia or beta thalassemia. MemBio creates blood in a bioreactor that aims to better match the patient and eliminate immune reactions. Researchers around the world have been researching how to grow blood outside the body for the past three or four decades. But because of the high production costs associated with their processes, None of them have been able to commercialize, so we've figured out how to make blood outside the body using a cost-effective process to produce it on the industrial scale required. Down the road, MemBio hopes to be able to make universal O-negative blood that would serve a $40 billion market. IndieBio is all about transformative ideas like these and formulating the right mix of strategy and investments to turn them into reality. Mark New, CGTN, San